Do you want to make your subject stand out? Is the background too clumsy, busy? Today we are going to learn a very easy but extremely important technique to focus the viewer's eye towards the subject. Just takes about 2 minutes in Lightroom so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Lightroom on location in Photoshop World Orlando and this is one of the booths and the setups made by Hilmar Smith. She is an awesome creator, check her out right here and the model is Tatiana. Once you have selected the photo, make sure you are in the develop module, not in any other modules. So if you are in the library module, say press D, D for develop and you are in the develop module, that's the shortcut. Okay, now we have to go to the radial filter, the shortcut to which is shift M, okay takes you to the radio filter. Make sure new is selected. We are going to create a new one and let's double click on the effects to bring everything to zero if it's already not. So if it's jumbled up already, just double click on the effect. Everything comes to zero. Let's make a radial right here on our subject and all we need to do decrease the exposure and that's pretty much it. But that doesn't end now. Okay. Now what else we can do here? We have to adjust it so that it just affects the subject. Also at the same time, we want it to feather out very smoothly. So let's come down and increase the feather. I usually go for 100% feather. So if you take it all the way to the left, it's very hard, right? So let's increase it and make sure invert is not checked. If it's checked, this will go dark. We don't want that. Make sure it's not checked. Now let's extend it from the top so that it looks like a good spotlight, just like this and probably I will rotate it. If you take the cursor at the top like this, one curved arrow will show up, just rotate it just a little bit just like that and there we are. It looks really good. Let's extend it even more and we're gonna have something like that and we can control the exposure. Let's go for this exposure minus one, minus two, let's go for a minus two. It can do a whole lot of other things as well. You can also decrease the shadows if you want to, just a little bit. You can also do this. You can also try decreasing the clarity a little bit so that the clarity lies only on her, okay? So, not too much. You can also try playing with the dehaze, everything that takes away the focus. So you can increase the dehaze just a little bit and have a look at the before and after. This totally makes a dramatic difference. So this is the before and this is the after. Have a look at it. Now if you think it's too much, this is one more very important tip. Click on this triangle right here and it compresses every slider into just one amount slider. So if you think if you want to decrease the overall amount of this, so you can decrease the overall amount and you can increase the overall amount as well all the way high up. So I'm going to go to 51, 52 ish and we are good. Now it's very important you take a break and get back to this because sometimes we tend to overdo it a little bit. So before after. Such a small setting makes a huge difference. It all boils down to one concept. We as humans always tend to focus on the brighter areas, whether it's an image or in real life. Are you focusing there or here? No? Great, it means your mental state is stable. Did you say yes? It was so simple, isn't it? Hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.